is Robin Bremer and today I want to share with you something that is sort of a pet peeve of mine and that is people studying, reading books, preaching, teaching, uh, just you checking out things that have to do with end times. It's a pet peeve of mine because when you are listening to teaching or preaching or reading books or getting on the internet and studying about end times, what that's going to do is that's going to cause you a lot of pain, stress, and fear because for the last 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, everybody has thought it's been in the end times. So you could waste that much of your lifetime looking at end time events when it really doesn't matter what end time events are happening right now. Let me tell you why. Two reasons. One reason is if the Holy Spirit wants you to know about something, He's going to have you pray about it So because He's given you all Christians the power to change it. So He's going to tell you about it and He's going to have you pray about it to change it. You don't have to wait till the news tells you about an event to pray to change it. And number two, if you're going about looking for signs and conditions and events happening in the world that signal the end times, you're going to be built up in so much fear. Your thoughts are going to be, oh, I'm going to get raptured. Uh, you're going to be thinking about getting raptured. You're not going to be thinking about why you are here. And you are here to bring heaven on earth. You are here to bring God's government on earth as it is in heaven. The kingdom of God is in you to uh, create heaven on earth, to change everything that's not full of joy and peace and righteousness, to bring it to joy, peace, and righteousness. So don't waste your time studying about end events and, and things happening and end times. You'll be wasting 10, 20, 30 years doing it, and all you'll get is heartache, stress, high blood pressure, fear, uh, and just it's not a good thing. What you want to do instead is study about how to walk in God's presence and God's kingdom. You want to study about who you are in Christ. The Word of God says that to take, to think about these things, things that are lovely, pure, praiseworthy, honorable, of good report, um, virtuous, um, and it says a bunch of other stuff. None of it says, uh, none of it says about uh, world events happening. None of it says about terror or fear or earthquakes or any of that stuff. You're supposed to think of things that are praiseworthy, things that are honorable, things that are good. And when they aren't those things, then you are supposed to be the person that changes it, that brings about change. Now, what you should be studying is who you are in Christ, what God created you to be, uh, about the kingdom, and about the glory and the power and entering into the supernatural presence of God on a daily basis. Learning how to find your private space no matter what's going on around you what people are saying what people are doing to get into your own private little space and spend time with your daddy with your papa and you just ask God how to do that for example for me uh, at my church when we pray my church believes in everybody you know we have prayer on Thursday night and that's night. I'm so looking forward to going to it because I love it and I used to want to go but I kind of get there and I feel like uh, because when our group prays we all walk around and people shout and yell and it's a lot of noise and for me if I can't hear what I'm saying I don't know what I'm saying even though I'm saying it so for me it was a bit stressful because I wanted to hear what I was praying I didn't want to be influenced by what someone else is praying I didn't want to be sidetracked I just wanted to get along with my daddy and just spend that cozy perfect time praying and talking and interceding with him so God gave me a solution he said where ear he says where I'll plug my turn my phone on to worship music and put earplugs in that or I'll put my earplugs in my ear so I can hear worship music blasting in my ear while I am praying to God and don't care about who hears me praying just pray and it, I used that last time and it was so awesome I was so high on God just so high so what I just did is I just turned my phone on to worship music after the pastor got done sharing what we needed to pray about, um, I put my earplugs in, turned on my worship music, went out in the back where hardly anybody was praying, and I just danced and worshiped and got into God's presence and prayed and interceded. It was awesome, and I love it. Sometimes I'll take the prayer cover and I'll cover it up over my head, and I'll just close my eyes, take off my glasses, and just pray uh, under that prayer cloth that was really a covering cloth. And so, 
you need to spend the time finding out your secret to calming yourself down, to getting into God's presence and feeling His manifest presence and knowing He's there and having a relationship with Him and walking in the supernatural uh, power of God. You need to be practicing, like all of us, laying hands on people and seeing them healed, uh, casting out demons and cleansing the lepers. You need to not be afraid of that. It's really fun to do that. It's a lot of fun. I've seen more demons. I haven't actually seen any angels. I've sang with angels. I danced with angels while angels were dancing. I've seen Jesus several times, dance with Jesus. I've seen a lot of demons, but I haven't seen an angel yet. I know I can feel angels. I know when angels are around sometimes, but I haven't seen angels yet. And so we need to get used to that kind of a lifestyle instead of just building up fear about expectations of events and circumstances. We just need to get God's presence and Daddy's presence. We just need to love on our Daddy and get in His presence and worship Him and forget about what's happening in the world. Forget about the recall of this food or uh, this uh, theater being shot up or this place. Um, you know, you can't, you can't even wake up in the morning. You can't even go to sleep at night without prayer because you don't know what could happen. And the only way you know what can happen is not by listening to the news because the news has after the effect. Afterwards it tells it. It's news. It happened already. Okay, But the good news of Jesus is Jesus already happened. He already took all your sicknesses, all your diseases, all your fear. He gave you power over everything on this earth to change it, to bring it into His will of heaven on earth. He did it all for you. That's the good news. And you take what God tells you in your prayer time and you pray about it and you intercede and you change it. You stop the earthquakes from happening in your community, to your family, in your neighborhood. Um, stop it and change it. And that's power for you to do it. instead of listening to end time teaching and, to end, and studying end times. Forget about it. It's always going to be end times. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. And that's not going to make you feel better and better and better. So instead, get into the Word. Get into God's presence. And learn from teaching like this that teaches you how to walk in God's presence, God's power, and builds up your faith and teaches you about God's grace so that you know you're valuable and loved. My name is Robin Bremer. My website is robinbremer.net. Check it out. Check out some of my videos, my audios, my teaching. Check out some of my books. Get a hold of them at Amazon.com or on my website. Some of them are free at Smashwords. And I just pray, I just pray in Jesus' name, Father, in Jesus' name, I just bind that spirit that would cause fear and terror of end time events happening, of every little thing that happens on the news. Father, just tell them not to watch the news. Tell them that you're their teacher and their news reporter, that you'll tell them what to be aware of and careful of in Jesus' name. And fill them with your power and presence and make them hungry for revival and make them hungry for you in Jesus' name. Amen talk to you tomorrow.